If you want accurate hand loads, details matter. One of those details is the distance from outside to outside of a case neck measured over a seated bullet. That is called your over bullet measurement. It is a fundamental number used when reloading. Let's make sure we are measuring it correctly. Hi, my name is Jason Stanley. Welcome to Connect the Dots. A common mistake when finding the over bullet measurement or OBM is measuring the case neck in a location other than where the widest part of the bullet is sitting. This produces a lower and incorrect OBM. The end result is a false increase of clearance and a mathematically reduced neck tension. If you would like a written version to this procedure, check out the link in the description to a blog on my website. Step number one, you're going to resize the case just like normal. Step number two, you want to find the widest part of your bullet using a micrometer. And remember that not all bullets have a pressure ring. This particular bullet, it does have a pressure ring and it's right at the heel of the bullet. Step number three, I want to seat the bullet with the widest part in the resized portion of the neck. And this might take a couple trials, that's not even close. Now remember, this might not be the final seating depth of the bullet. This process is only done to find the over bullet measurement. I gotta go just a little bit farther. There we go. Step number four, you wanna measure the middle of that resized neck. That's gonna be the location over the widest part of the bullet. Now there are some uh, machinists, there are some gunsmiths that can do this with a caliper. For the rest of us, we gotta use a micrometer. 0 0.3280. Do that a couple times, just make sure. 0 0.3280. So, for this batch of cases and this lot of bullets, my over bullet measurement is 0 0.3280. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. That will help connect the dots continue to grow and get better. There's a lot more information on my website, ctdshooting.com. Thanks for watching. A question you should always be asking yourself is, who cares? Why am I doing this? When you measure the case neck in a location other than over the widest part of the bullet, the OBM will be smaller than what it actually is. And this usually happens because the bullet was seated past the resized portion of the neck. And you can actually feel that when you're seating the bullet. When the round is fired, that widest part of the bullet has to re-enter that small diameter of the neck causing an increase in neck tension and a decrease in clearance from what you thought they actually were. So the first reason why it's important to measure the OBM correctly is because that decrease in clearance and the increase in neck tension can cause an increase in pressure. For most hunters who are using three to four thousandths clearance, probably not a big deal. For competitors who are running a tight neck, might be a bigger issue. The second reason you should care is that calculating your theoretical over bullet measurement is a crucial step in determining the neck thickness for anybody who neck turns or brass. Third is repeatability of neck tension when I'm changing lots of brass. Here's a neck, here's an example of that one. I make 50 cases for each barrel that I shoot. Most of the tournaments that I go to, I shoot between 115 to 125 rounds per day, which means I have to reload at the tournament. There are some tournaments where I can't do that. I have to go preloaded. So when that happens, I use brass from retired barrels. Each one of these groups of brass might have different neck thickness. I need a correct over bullet measurement so that I know which bushing to use so that I can keep the same neck tension for all my lots of brass. The fourth reason is making sure you have proper clearance when you keep the same brass, but you change bullets. A couple years ago, I was asked to test bullets for a gentleman, and his bullets measured a little bit fatter than the ones that I was using. So I thought, I better check this. Using the procedure that I just showed you, I found that my clearance went from two thousandths to under one thousandths. I'm glad I checked. 
Now, I was still able to test his bullets. I simply used brass from retired barrels that gave me more clearance. Lastly, measuring the OBM correctly is important when you talk about neck tension and neck clearance with others. When it comes to those two topics, having a correct third decimal spot is pretty important. Two thousands is considered by many to be the ideal clearance. 0 .003 or three thousandths neck tension is a good place to start your load development. If you want more information on those two topics, check out my video, Neck Clearance and Neck Tension. Details matter. Over bullet measurement is one of those details. Just remember to measure when the widest part of the bullet is in the resized portion of the neck. Until next time, enjoy the experience.